good Saturday morning, everybody. It's Trevor Thompson, the self-appointed Looney Tunes critic, and that is the only time in this whole cartoon you see the Coyote and the Roadrunner in their adult versions. Um, and this is a, a cartoon directed by Spike Brandt. And uh, it's definitely a, definitely a nod to Chuck. Definitely a, uh, definitely a fan of Chuck, if you... If you uh, are working on this, I don't know. I'm preoccupied with my microphone, apparently. But this is uh, this is Stan Freeberg voicing his dad, and uh, Stan's always great. But I I gotta say I'm not exactly. I don't know if I like them. I don't like them making uh, making a thing out of Coyote not talking. It's like, well, he did talk. We know he talked sometimes. He just didn't want to. I also wonder about the uh, the nose there. Stealth sheep stealing contest. That makes me wonder if that if uh, that KG Coyote. If he's actually a nod to uh, Ralph, uh, or yeah, Ralph Wolf. Morning, Sam. Morning, Ralph. Because um, the that was the only thing that was ever different about Sam and Wiley was that, uh, or uh, Ralph and uh, Wiley was that uh, the noses were different, different color. So who knows? Maybe. Uh, Maybe that was a reference to that. <laughs> Baby fat is delicious. That's very true. I want to know how Spike Brandt knows that. Tell me, Spike. How do you know about the baby fat being so delicious? Well, actually, babies are, you know, they're adorable. And when you see a, a pretty baby, a cute baby, what do you say? Oh, I could just eat you up. So, you know. That answers that question. So he's got his little kindergarten keys there and something that, uh, <laughs> something that um, I'm not going to have time to comment on when it actually comes up. So I'll bring it up now. At the end of this cartoon, uh, on the end credits, you see. Uh, an advertisement for baby Looney Tunes. And uh, this cartoon had nothing to do with baby Looney Tunes. The most, this, the only thing this cartoon had to do with baby Looney Tunes is that at the end of it, it says, watch baby Looney Tunes. This cartoon was not made in accordance with it. It was not made to promote baby Looney Tunes. It literally had nothing to do with Baby Looney Tunes. And then when Baby Looney Tunes was being made, someone said, you know, we can we can uh, advertise this with, you know, Baby Looney Tunes by uh, sticking this on the end of it. So uh, I don't know how accurate I have that. I just know that uh, I just know that it wasn't made with uh, Baby Looney Tunes in mind. Maybe uh, Spike could answer that, or uh, Spike or Tony. <laughs> I love that he uses his toys <laughs> to make to do the uh, like. He's not. He's not. I don't think he has the uh, the the Acme subscription yet to the catalog. So he's he's got to use his. Uh, Stretch Armstrong toys. I love this gag right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. The color is really good in this cartoon too. Whoever, uh, whoever did the uh, the color styling, deserves an, an amazing amount of credit because this was made in two thousand at a time when. The uh, conventional wisdom suggested that, well, if we're doing, you're doing animation, you're doing stuff for kids, so that means it has to be 
you know, the brightest, every color has to be the brightest color in, in, in the universe. As, uh, as, uh, John Christopher Lucy once said, Candy Cane Lane. Candy Cane Lane, that's where he goes to get all his best, oh, I want to say, <laughs> I was going to make a pedophile joke. <laughs> I love that. The, <laughs> I love that the road runner <laughs> that he has the little, uh, the little uh, mobile device for not a mobile device, but a little thing for. I don't know what you call it. I'm not a parent, okay? I don't have kids. I don't know what that thing is. But it's certainly a cartoon that um, was made by somebody who loves two things equally, and that is. Chuck Jones and their children. And yeah, plenty of uh, Trig Brown sound effects in here. Hang on, I want to listen because I'm, I'm not sure about the music. Who did the music? Oh, I do know who did the music. You know why I know that? Because I'm smart. This was Richard Stone. Richard Stone uh, did the, uh, the all the music for, you know, Animaniacs and Tiny Toons. And he did all of those all of the great music that we uh we we grew up loving in the the 90s renaissance and this was the last thing that he did um for warner brothers before his his passing in 2001 rest in peace mr stone <laughs> i always wondered where he got those uh where he's supposed to have gotten those those little rocket cups from because I remember a few years later Denny's had a, some kind of weird promotion where they were selling these little cups and they looked just like that they had, you know looked like the little rockets so so there's that pointless thing that I <laughs> have nothing to add on to with there what have you I love this <laughs> he's bored of the, <laughs> of the and then of course and then of course you have the uh the little kid getting uh eaten by uh by dogs. It's great. And the great Stan Freeberg, ladies and gentlemen. I mean what can you say about him that hasn't been said a million times? Alright guys, that's it. We'll see you next week. <laughs>